Hi, welcome to another edition of Real Talk in Colorado with your host, Watik. I am really trying to keep a straight face today. I have two guests on that are going to be making you guys laugh throughout this interview. So I would like to welcome to the show today, Ryan Evans and Shanae Ross. Hi, everybody. Hey, thank you. Thank How are you guys doing? Well, Very well. Good. Please contain yourself, studio audience, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <All> um, <laughs> <laughs> thank Ma'am, you. put your shirt on. Put your shirt back on. Oh, wow. They're excited. They're excited in here. <laughs> Don't throw your panties up here, please. Don't throw your panties up here. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming on today. Um, so let's get started. I want to first know where you guys are from originally, and if you're... If you're now residing in Colorado, what got you here? I'm, I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and okay. I do reside here. My mother wanted to move here 14 years ago. Mm. So she came down with two babies, $90, and a, a, and a Chevette. Oh, Back then, <laughs> gas was, you know, 89 cents on a dollar, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the rest is history. So Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> A Chevette. A Chevette. A Chevette. You just don't hear that every day. No, no. A no. Chevette. A gremlin. <laughs> but a Chevette. Yeah, I don't even know if they say Chevette. No, two door. That's what I'm saying. You don't yeah, hear it every day. Two door Chevette. Wow. She had the Chevette coupe. A coupe. Oh, wow. <laughs> On dubs. <laughs> On dubs. <laughs> with the, with the, with the uh, rims? No. Mm -mm, we no. had hubcaps 20, back. Oh, no, no, in the 80s okay. it was hubcaps. They okay. didn't really do okay. rims back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ryan? Uh, I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my story's a little different. Um, I'm a comedian. I started comedy in uh, L.A., but uh, here's my story. Okay. okay. Here it is. Here it is. <clears throat> I was born in Chicago. When right. I was seven, I moved to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. When I was 14, I moved back to Chicago. <laughs> when I was 20, 21, 22, I moved to L.A. Mm -hmm. I live in Atlanta now. I'm not going to tell you how old I am. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess in that that was like a. It was a lot of years in that. I'm hoping that two people are trying to do the math, and yeah. find out what it comes out to. Yeah. I like how you panned out. You was like, <laughs> yeah, I went right to them, right I was, inside. Yeah, oh, I like okay. how you, yeah, when you went over there. <laughs> All right, so um, so you guys been doing comedy. You kind of stated how long you've been doing comedy. What made you get into comedy? And, and for your part, part, when did you start comedy? I think I've always been comical. I was always been the cousin that's. Mimicking grandma and aunt and uncle and, and, and them. In high school, I was, you know, voted class clown, most funniest female mm -hmm. in middle school and in high school. And then um, in church, I was always mimicking people. And the church mother was the one that suggested, she's like, I think you should try it out. Uh oh. And um, so I've been. Your thing, do your thing for Jesus. So right. in the name of the Lord. And so I've been doing it for seven years. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. okay. <laughs> and how long have you been doing it, Mr. Ryan? I'm, I'm seven years in as well. I uh, started, I used to DJ at a comedy club and didn't really think about comedy like that. Mm -hmm. But I've always been kind of funny, just never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. And it just looked like fun. So I tried it and I've been doing it ever since. I'm in love with it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's uh, take it to the first time. How did you get your, your chance to go in front of an audience? Where was it at and how did it come about? Uh, for me, um, they Comedy Works downtown Denver had a competition um, for new faces, and I submitted uh, the appropriate information. Went out; I was the only only sister mm. to to do it. So I had some some uh, some trials and tribulations to overcome, some objectives. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to overcome. <laughs> and so, um, for my first time doing it, the audience voted, and I went through oh, the wow. first time that I ever done it. So I think that that was nothing but God's favor at that time. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> first time, first time. <laughs> I had a girlfriend before I started comedy. She was a uh, comedian. And you know, she convinced me to do it. So my first time was on her uh, open mic. She was hosting an open mic. And it went so well. <laughs> it went well in the sense of I didn't die up there on stage, but um, it went well in the sense of to me it let me know that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an, it wasn't another question about it. Mm -hmm. It was in uh, L. A. at a place called the Ha Ha Cafe. It's a nice comedy club out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So what was the audience like? I mean, did it, was it? Nice audience that you guys All 13 had of them was ready to laugh. 13. Do you hear me? Uh -huh. 13? All 13. All of them came prepared to laugh. Now, out of the 13, mm -hmm. eight of them were comics already. So, you know, oh. 
Okay. That's Not like this wonderful, illustrious studio audience you have. Because <laughs> no. I mean, is, if y'all can stuff. see it, they all up here. People got the balcony. Hey, they yeah. everywhere. You yeah, know, I'm doing up in the balcony. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. very I'm nervous. I've never been around so many people in my yeah. life. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. You know, my yeah. heart is filled with joy. <laughs> okay. Hey, mom. <laughs> well, th <laughs> thanks, my audience, uh, for sitting in today. Uh, so let's talk about the first show. What is it? <laughs> um, that's my thinking. I got my thinking oh, yeah. cap okay. on. Let's okay. talk about the first show that you guys um, got in front of and you bombed. You talk, go? talk to I, us about I that. And this how, I ain't afraid. How, I ain't scared. Oh, yeah. So, picture this, right? <laughs> it's, it's LA. I'm doing good. I went shopping that day, spending money. I probably should have been. I was, I was very reckless. <laughs> and I came home and my lights were out. <laughs> it's funny today. Then, no. But, uh, it made it to a funny story to tell on stage, and I had three shows that night. Uh, the first two went well, and the last one, which the girl who I was out shopping with earlier, she came to, I died. It wasn't like died like boo. I take a boo. It was died like we not gonna say a word, and we're gonna look at you as if you are the oddest thing we've ever seen in our lives. Mm. It was at the uh, uh, Monday Night Improv in, in L.A. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. Horrible. To have somebody witness, too, that was horrible. Because they have that story in their mind to right. recollect every time they see you. <laughs> right, right, right. Mm, I was with you when you bombed. <laughs> I remember right. that. I remember right. you dying on What stage. about you, Shanae? <laughs> um, I would say the improv here. Uh, it was open mic night, mm. and it was like 20 people in there. And I don't cuss, of course, but a lot of comics were. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, me not cussing, me being clean, it might be refreshing. Wrong. Mm. And like Ryan said, they give you the blank stare. They give you that church look like. And that's exactly how they was looking. So I was like, I got to get off. Like, yeah, they'll run you off. They'll run you straight on off. <laughs> so, yeah. They be looking so sad. At it. From here on out. All right, when you come to a comedy show, you come to laugh. Don't mm -hmm. come in with your little problems and everything like that. You come there to laugh. Right. Don't you judge me. You know how you long I've been doing this? You judge him. Judgment is outside. You come in here to forget about everything and laugh from here on out, from here on out. And if people coming with you that don't do it, don't bring them. Right. Or sit in the back. Well, oh, we yeah. can't, or sit in the back yeah. where we can't see you. <laughs> I, I don't know why they sit them up front like I that. I don't know. That's so stupid. That, that don't is know. so stupid. Mm -hmm. I want to push their drink over because they're right there. I want to just push <laughs> their drink. You're going to sit there and look at me like. <laughs> like I owe them something. Like yeah. I, The whole room laughing, but they like, man, I've seen better. <laughs> Like, yeah. It ain't right. Yeah. It's, it's rough being a cop. It, 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 it is. I'm, it glad is. We, I'm glad we got this forum here and all these people to talk to about it. Oh, so now, yeah. so now, so now, oh, yeah. so now the show's turning to uh, like a counseling session. I it feel is. like something coming out. My, my blood okay. pressure rave and everything else. I mean, right that's just get comfortable. We can just do this. Let me just well, get these shoes off. And, yeah, <laughs> get comfortable. You know, because if you're a singer and you sound bad, people are still, you know, give you credit. You know I what bought I mean? the album even Ooh, though yeah. she's trash. She, she had a bad sore throat. Okay. But you can't excuse being a comedian. Mm -hmm. Like, if you bomb, you bomb, and people give you the third degree. They but, remember that. You know, there's we'll some bomb. bad gospel artists in local churches <laughs> that travel and sing horribly, and they still on somebody's program. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. <laughs> okay, listen, so... <laughs> um, have you had any people like, I mean, since y'all was talking about, you know, shows didn't go well, have, have you ever had anybody heckle at your show? Yeah, it's part yeah. of the business. It's part of what comes so with I, it. So, and I understand, like, I've seen some people work where they had hecklers and they kind of brought the heckler involved in their little skit mm -hmm. and they like, kind of turned it back on them. Have, have you ha had that experience? And I think there's a heckler involved in almost every show you go to, and oh, it's more so just how you respond to them. Some just want a little bit of attention. Some, you can just ignore them, and they'll just shut up. So mm -hmm. it just kind of depends. Mm. But some don't want to be embarrassed, especially mm -hmm. if, you know, if there's a lot of people and you embarrass them, they might just tiptoe on out. It just depends on... Exactly, just like that. Mm -hmm. You might get them to come on out of there. So it just depends. So Have you ever picked down anybody in the audience and... Got somebody upset or cried or anything? No, like that? God, no. No, mm -hmm. no. I don't like to mess with people in the audience. Mm -hmm. If I say something that's going to be very light, something very playful, we can both laugh that's at not me. True, and right? You've seen it? You put down mm -hmm. the people. Uh, the audience. And, 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 the audience. So this is the show going to turn into? <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean anything. No, no, no. no. She laughed. She laughed. We in the park. Remember the audience, the people at the one table? Yeah, you went on the I did go back in there. I did. But they were just looking at me with the look. Here's the thing. If you're going to do the look, do the look. Commit to the look of. All night. But if you gonna just like 
Some people smile and they don't laugh. You know, you tell a joke and they be like, <laughs> everybody else like, ah, oh, he's crazy, right, he's right. stupid, my stomach. And they be like, <laughs> <laughs> like laugh out loud. That's okay. what I was doing in Winter Park. Oh, okay, okay. But it was still light. They were still laughing. So right. I try not to mess with anybody who's in arm's reach of me. Oh, okay, much. okay. I'm not a fighter. I never claim to be. I just, I will run. I will harpoon you with this mic stand and then I will take run. Go, take on out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that type yeah, of guy. Okay. Okay. Comedy shouldn't be like that. It's comedy should be light and fun. Right, exactly. You don't have to be aggressive in your face. Well, let's talk about some people who inspired you. What comedians out there that you know probably gave you some inspiration and want to go ahead and get involved with this comedy thing? Definitely, um, of course, the greats, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, um, mm -hmm. Monique, um, my mom. I don't think she knows that she's a comedian, but uh, oh, yeah. Your mom a comedian? I think so. I oh, think she, God. she used to dibble dabble with back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, my grandma uh, is another comedian. She's one of the greats in my mind. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, Kevin Hart, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris Tucker, yeah, mm -hmm. there's so many. The list goes on and on, so. It's a lot of people, man. Um, for me, like, I'm more of a storyteller, so I, you know, of course, I like Eddie Murphy and the Richard Pryor's uh, phenomenal talents, mm -hmm. those guys. I like, uh, personally, I like Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. I like uh, uh, Red Fox, uh, George Carlin. Uh, my brother is a stand-up comic, uh, one of my favorite people to watch. He's a, a wonderful entertainer, Mr. Michael Collier out of Chicago. Uh, 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 just okay, let's park the brakes real quick. <laughs> no, no. You what? try to squeeze. I'm no, like, you just try to <laughs> just glaze over that situation, and it, and, and the people need to know. And oh, I was gonna bring it up later, but now since you already test, test on a little bit, okay, expound upon it. Uh, you said your brother. Yeah. Who was your brother? And could you please tell our audience who your brother is? Well, I was originally born to the Murphy family, and uh, I was found uh, by a family. <laughs> <laughs> they renamed me, and here I am, Daddy. Please. I'm looking for you. Now, my brother's name is the, uh, uh, Rodney Perry, the great Rodney Perry, a uh, wonderful entertainer, uh, co-host of the Monique Show, mm -hmm. uh, co-host of uh, Who's Got Jokes, and a plethora of other things. Mm -hmm. so. see, how that, see how the audience said, oh. <laughs> my mama said, oh, I no. told you I knew he was oh, over there. Down <laughs> He's over there. Well, see, Ryan and I, you know, I've gotten to know Ryan over these few past weeks. Uh, I went to see Ryan um, open up for... Um, Lavelle was the first show. Lavelle Crawford, yeah. And I thought he was a very funny, talented guy. And then I also saw him open up for Gary Owens, as mm -hmm. well as Shanae. And Shanae and I go back because we worked at the same place. Mm -hmm. So I, I've kind of, you know, grown to know these folks in, 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 in a special way. But uh, Brian, you know, said who his brother was. And at first, I didn't catch it until, you know, he threw the Monique. But I mean, I, I didn't know your brother like that. But I watched on the Monique. But then mm -hmm. when it dawned on me, it was. But then I... He doesn't like people knowing too much because he's trying to have his own self acclaim. So I sometimes have to pull it out of him. Well, I mean, you know, it. if it helps. Right. Now. right, that's what I'm saying. I will <laughs> drop a name on you if it helps, but you know, <laughs> it ain't like I'm walking around with I'm Rodney Perry, brother. Right, right. Yeah, you know. Good. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but I really could walk into a dish. You could, yeah. Yeah, so I, I thought you, both of you guys, I thought are very entertaining people, um, very funny. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to. Uh, see you guys perform as well as become friends or like, you know, build a friendship with you guys. So I thought it would be great to have y'all on the show today um, and get y'all some more exposure. And that's the best thing I can do for you guys. But I, I think you're very talented folks. Um, I appreciate it. I want to know, though, um, because before we leave today, I want to see if you guys can give us a little stand-up, you know, a couple of minutes. Got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> of I course. To, if, I don't know how to judge if, that. If the studio audience can get loud can enough, we get some, if they studio want audience? it bad enough. Can we say? Right. You think we should? Yeah. I'll yeah. yeah. give you a little bit. Just, just a little something, something. A little something. Okay. Um, so let's just, before we get to that piece, let's mm -hmm. talk about where you, what's, what's, what's in your plans for the future? What are you looking forward to doing? Now who, if you will, in that same question, who would you like to work with? Um, for me, it, I'm looking forward to work with anybody at this point. I just, I just had the opportunity to uh, uh, open up for Bruce Bruce when mm. he was here. So that was just truly a, a blessing in disguise. And he was in Kansas. Yeah, went to Kansas, to Kansas City. Got full off of Gates Barbecue. Yes. I'm still trying Shout to pass out that out. but we <laughs> well, who, Gates sit up in there for a little while. Yeah. Gates well, is still in there. Who did you open up for out there? Um, Linnell. 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 Well, you yeah. guys know Linnell. Very He's funny. a very funny comedian very as well. Funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, anything, any um, thing that you want to do? Oh, shout out to your Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff so people can uh, check you out. 
Facebook is Shanae Ross. On Twitter, it's Nene Too Silly. Um, I don't have a web page. Um, you can find me at my local church of uh, Faith Temple, Church of God in Christ, Amen. Jubilee, AME, mm. mm. Popolistic, Baptismal, <laughs> First Communion. <laughs> No tambourines, washboard carrying. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. But you got Facebook? I do have Facebook. What's, what's Facebook? It's Shanae Ross. Oh, Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So, you have any shows coming up in the future, near future, that we can shout out now so folks probably come check you out? Um, Toad Tavern, um, that would be August 13th. Was that the Toad? Toad. Like oh, I thought you said Toad. Toad Jam Tavern. Toad Tavern. On Pentecostal and Street. Toad Tavern. And then um, Toad Tavern. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, and I'm getting see, mud. Toad see. Tavern. <laughs> and then I'm also doing the, um, I'm hosting the Delta Delta show for Stepping um, at DU. That'll and be October that? 21st. October? Okay, yeah. okay. Ryan, what about the show? October? Yeah, October. I'm going to try to come and see yeah, if okay. I can come down. Oh, yeah, I'm sweet now. Yeah, yeah, I know you're doing that. Yeah, we, 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 do it. We do it. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot to talk with you. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I have coming up? Um, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy Schubert, I work with uh, Jimmy Schubert at the uh, Denver Improv, mm -hmm. not this weekend, but next weekend. I think that is the 9th through the 12th. I might be lying. It's you are. Right now. I am. Uh, that's in the week. That's on the weekend? Uh-huh. Because today is the... the today is the, the 11th. What's today's date? What? Oh, 11th, 12th next weekend. Mm -hmm. Today's the 4th. First off, I don't like the way this crowd is turning on me. <laughs> <laughs> The audience is trying to help you find the date. <laughs> the well, ninth. Anybody have the date? I would like to get the date. It is the ninth now. Ninth and the twelfth. Ninth through the twelfth. Oh, 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 how many days? Uh -huh. Wow, you get you. Wow. Yeah, it's six shows, I believe. Okay. Uh, Thursday through Sunday. Jimmy Schubert at the uh, Denver Improv. Mm -hmm. After that, I'm going back to uh, Atlanta. I have a couple shows at the Punchline out there. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure who I'm working with, but it don't matter. Well, who, how can people check you out, find you, and all that good stuff? Very easy. Here's the thing about me. My name is Ryan Evans, and it's spelled R-I-O-N. Y'all have, like, stuff y'all, like, put my name right now? The little crawl. Yeah, we can the do crawl. that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll right, do that. right here, like, under my fingers, I point. Ryan Evans. <laughs> I've always wanted to we do that. We can get that. Well, I think you're the man. We'll make sure the DVD now, my name, shows it. My name is spelled R-I-O-N, Ryan Evans. You can uh, find me anywhere on Facebook under the same name. Uh, on Twitter, I am Ryan Evans on Twitter. And um, my websites are coming, but uh, same thing, Ryan Evans or uh, laughwithyoulater.com. That's about it. Mm, okay. So um, I, this is a question I always want to ask. I know comedy and breaking in is, can be hard and difficult. What is, I mean, you ain't got to give us no exact amount, but how is it paid um, in, in, in the beginning and trying to work your way up to possibly a lister or whatever the case may be? The pay is horrible. That is, yeah. Mm. The pay is horrible. It is, yeah. You thinking about doing comedy, ain't you? Is this the camera? Is this one on? This oh. one. You thinking about doing comedy, ain't you? Zoom in on me. Somebody zoom in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go, go get a good job working in the government or something like that. You don't want this in your life. They don't pay at all. You know how much money I have in my pocket right now? Three dollars. I owe somebody two. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want this if you're looking for it. Like what happens with a lot of people, they look at like the Kevin Hart's and the, right. the big stars like, I can do that tomorrow. It ain't going to happen tomorrow. How long you been doing it? Seven years. Seven years. So, to... you know, this shirt ain't even mine. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Understand that it's gonna be it, it, it'll be a trial they, if you want to yeah. do it. Yeah, if you want to do it, do it. But it will be a trial. I told you. Don't say I didn't tell. You. All right. So my thing is, I mean, so that means you got to do it for the passion and the love, because um, it definitely can't be for the money. Not right oh, away. Oh no, not right now. Uh, okay. Oh no. But we but we will hope to get to the part where the money starts raining in. If you ain't got yeah, hope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. my my grandma, she don't you know she don't. You know, she want to come out of church. She want to travel and stuff with me. So she just wants oh. to take a few Sundays off. And so oh, I'm okay. trying to get there, trying Grandma. Get this, okay. Grandma, okay, you put your carrying case for your washboard up. We're going to get there. We're going to get there soon. I got you, boo. Well, you know what? It's definitely been a joy. Um, I know we're going to get some stand-up with you guys here in a second. Is there anything you would like to have our audience or anybody out there, that, something that you want them to know about just yourself before we leave? We taking questions from the <laughs> There's so many people this, here. Like, we got time for this? We no, got time for this? I was saying, you want them to know anything <laughs> special or anything significant about yourself no, before we... 40 of them. I'm just... <laughs> before we...
Hey, that, 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 come on my show. We talk about my audience, man. The audience is thick. It is. They, hey, it's I'm packed. Over. I'm it's over. full in here right now. It's standing room. He hanging. He's hanging. See? There's a gentleman hanging from the top. Hey, get back up there, man. He ain't get got back. no feet. He's just hanging and laughing no, and watching. Sit, sit on down. Thank sit on you, down. sir. Sit on down. Uh, so I guess there's no special thing you want people to know. One special thing. Let me think. Um, <laughs> marry. Oh, yeah. Marry, single, dating, what? I'm single and I'm dating. Whatever, okay. You know? Single and dating. Okay. Oh, I'm, cause, you know, I, looked, some, I looked at I looked at Ryan's friend. Like, yeah, you said you're single. I'm I'm single. Yeah, I'm single. Oh, don't hit the chest. Sorry. Single, single. Sorry. Oh, okay. So you know what? Real quick though, I want to say one more thing though. Um, have you ever been in a relationship with somebody? And I have. Well, I they you. were okay. I'm, 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 I'm not like that. I'm talking about with the, with the comedy, <laughs> and they expect you to be funny all the time, or or you was. Or they were too serious and you were funny and it caused problems in the relationship? I, you want to take that one? I'm going to take it. I'm okay. Take it. <laughs> Us being comics, we weird people, okay? That's just, we, we crazy. It's okay. We cool with it. We had one with it by now. But in relationships, either you have one of the two. They either feel like you should be on the stage and making them laugh all the time mm -hmm. and things like that. Or, or uh, they're way too serious and they need you to stop doing that. I need to be silly when I want to be silly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whether I'm on the stage or off. Now, I'm not on the stage all the time. I'm not coming out the shower like, baby, get me what? Yeah. You know, nah. I'm drying off directly out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we, we crazy, but we human just like you. We'll be sitting there talking, going through everything in a car by ourselves. You do it too. Mm -hmm. it, you have I'm it. totally, I, I'm pretty quiet. Mm. Oh, outside of doing the comedy, uh, yeah, pretty so laid So it back. doesn't it hasn't ever affected any relationships that you have or been in. No, they like something wrong with you because oh. they expect me to, Does like Ryan funny? say, be on, and I'm mm. like, I'm off. I don't want to be on right now. I'm okay. off. Are you going to pay me for this? Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I stated before, it's definitely been a pleasure. I, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to offer our audience today, and your little. Um, what do you call that? Like said little? monetary? Yeah. Little, said little. Little. You did, you did call all these like people. What we like, doing. That's why they didn't even clap. They was just like looking at it like. Because you said little, like we had no significance. Like little <laughs> comedy. Like. People do that. that can no, I when say I say when quick? I say little, I mean in a little time, not in little as. Oh, I thought you said we was little. little. People do that all the time. You get that a lot? Mm. Little. Yeah, how, how was your little show? How was your little act? Yeah. Oh, they can talk about my show. No, no, no. That's what people say to yeah. us. Oh, oh, get that. Like, don't call my show little. You know what I'm saying? My show was little. <laughs> you thought you was doing something well, with your little thing. We like, can't talk know. about your show. Look at all these people. Grandioso. Look at all these people. Grandioso in here right now. This is, we got to go on and on. I want to take a souvenir out of here. So. <laughs> <laughs> can I get that plant? Is that plant? No. I feel like Yolanda Adams on Sunday Best. Like, I'm just about to just open up in front of a whole bunch of people. Like, the spotlight is on me. All and right. I'm about to check my throat and about to bring it. Okay. <laughs> but I don't have Donnie or uh, none of them with me. Well, listen, listen, audience. You're about to have a special treat. Um, we're going to go to break real quick, come back, and let you see the talents of Renee, oh, Renee. Mm, who was Renee? Renee? <laughs> I tried to throw, because I was going to say Ryan, but no, I tried to no, make sure. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. I was, gonna, I was adding the, I was going to say him, but I was like, no, I got to say her first. So I was like, Renee, Shanae. My so mom's going to be like, Renee? Shanae. Renee. Shanae. You got to deal with that. She gonna, my mom going to come holler at you well, about We're going to talk about that after the show. <laughs> Shanae and Ryan after we come back from our break. So stay tuned. We'll see you, you right back here on, on Real Talk in Colorado right here? with YT. It's Renee. not on, but I'm hoping they see it. <laughs> I can't tell. It's, I don't. The light's over here, but I'm just hoping that <laughs> my man is just in the pan and on to me. <laughs> Renee and Ryan. <laughs> see you in a minute. He said, he said Renee and Ryan. Hey, guys. I have a real treat for you. Coming this, to the stage from behind the curtains to my right, and I don't know if you see his feet. We have the very funny, welcome with a big round of applause, please, Ryan Evans. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Hey. Thank y'all for being there. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Round of applause for yourselves one more time, all of y'all. It's really six people in the room. I know you've been watching the whole show thinking it was more. It's really six people in the room. I'm gonna tell one joke and I'm gonna get out of here. This joke is about being broke, but don't look at it that way. Uh, everybody's been broke before, right? Never? Whatever. 
Everybody's been broke before. I've been broke to the extent I've had my lights cut off, and it's very, very traumatic to walk in your own house and your lights are not there because you're stupid at first. You refuse to believe they came and got you. That's what it is. You flicking light switches and everything, messing with the TV. Like, why won't it come on? It's because they came and got you. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I went through three light bulbs and two extension cords before I realized it's over with, and it ain't happening again. But there's nothing more humbling than sitting in your own house and have to get dressed by cell phone light, you know? You got to tell somebody to call you back because you coordinate. That ain't, that ain't right. But my mama told me if you can't find a way, you make a way. Because, you know, growing up, I was kind of broke then as I look at it. Like, we never, I never had Air Nikes or nothing like that. My mom used to order our shoes through, like, a little Mexican catalog she found. So I ain't never had Air Nikes. I had El Rapidos. But I was just as fast, just as fast at reset. So being that I've been through that, I know if I can't find a way, I still can make a way. So what I did when my lights got cut off, I invested in push lights. Now, most people don't know what they are. I'm going to describe it. It's a little round white light. You stick it on the wall. You push it to come on. You understand? It's battery operated. You understand what I'm saying? So they came and cut my lights. I went to give me some push lights. But they had them on sale, five in a pack for a dollar at the dollar store. When you broke, you don't miss sales, do you? <laughs> five in a pack? I spent $50 at the dollar store that day. Now when I come home, I don't hit no switch. I come and slide my hand down the wall and read my bills. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan Evans. I am Ryan Evans on Twitter. Thank you very much. Round of applause. <laughs> Let's please keep it going. Keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's keep it going. Coming straight from the couch, ladies and gentlemen, an OK original. Please put your hands together louder. Give it to me. Give it to me. For the one and only, Sinead Ross. You see how I got up twice when my grandma do that. She, get up, she means serious business for she get up twice. You know what I mean? I just want to give honor to God who is head of my life. That You know, the church people do that. They be like, who is head of my life? They make it more personal, but when they point it, they say, head of my life. <laughs> head of my life. I come from, like Ryan said, you got to make a way. Uh, that, this nice curl I got, it took my grandma two days to press. Um, I, I did have to borrow her panties to put, to put it on to lay it down because she refused to have you be sitting in the kitchen for two hours and you mess up a good press and you ain't wrapping it. <laughs> you will get the panties. You will get the panties. Sometimes you will get the panties out of her drawer. Sometimes you get the panties off of her butt. <laughs> Walk around smelling like butt head, but either way it go, your press look good. Your press looks good. <laughs> I got one of them old school uncles that talk that don't believe in tissue. Have y'all ever seen that? He'd be in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, Johnny, go on over there and get the part. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hug you. I don't want to hug you. I don't want you to grab my hand. I don't, don't pray over the food. The fact that you just did this in mid-conversation and you was cool with it disturbs me. Disturbs me a lot. I also got that grandma who, has, uh, who believes in recycling everything. Like, if you have old soap and you don't use it all the way down to the gristle, she got what she called variety soap. So you would wake up some days with Dial Dove, Ivory soap combination, you smelt like 14 different soaps. And the bar of the soap looked funky. It looked like an equator because it was just so many of them. She refused to, she refused to throw away some soap. There was always a hookup in the house. If you didn't have milk, you used carnation. You water it down. <laughs> There's always a hookup for that. So that's my name. I'm Shanae Ross. You can follow me on Facebook at Shanae Ross or Twitter, Nene Too Silly. That is my time. I, I, I want to take this time. I'll bring you guys back up here real quick. I, I no, really want it's right to. Here. It's right here. What we got? Look what? at this. Look at this. I'm oh. going to tear your whole turn apart. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, please don't come up. I keep going. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's do the. Let's do the. I'm just laying across. I'm, no, no, no. Like that. Like that. <laughs> okay. Now, this, this is linen. This is linen. Go up, hey, don't do it all. Don't oh, go this up. This is going to be a good show. Just I don't, don't want to be Richard Pryor right now. Got it. Okay. Hey, listen. Listen. I had a blast. I, I want to I wanna thank you guys. We got in my mind. Oh, my. Oh. I want to thank you guys for coming today. Um, I really you. appreciate you coming on the show. Ryan and Shanae. <laughs> Y'all about to mess that up again. Renee. But you guys are some very talented people. I really wish the best for you in your futures. Please keep me in mind um, when you blow up that I was on the road when I got you out a little exposure. Um, if you need a, a, a manager, road manager, I'm, I'm definitely open for it. You're not going to call? Okay. You're not going to call? Okay. Uh, give me some free tickets or whatever you're in town. 
You don't know about that? Okay. Well, we're going to get out of here, but I just want to thank everybody for viewing today. Look for these very talented, funny people in the future. And remember, you saw them first here on Real Talk of Colorado with your host, Watik. Take care, everybody. See you later. Thank you.